Modern geoscientists collect a lot of data, from temperature and salinity to elemental and isotopic data or organic geochemistry. And all of that data has to be processed and organized and turned into information. We go about trying to make sense of all this data using many methods. We plot it up, we make cross plots, we compute correlation, or just stare at it really hard. But at some point we get to the point where it's there is just too much data, too many dimensions for the human mind to be able to process. There are too many dimensions for the human brain to be able to visualize. And that's where we need to start using multivariate statistics. Specifically, if we want to take a lot of variables and compress them into something we can process visually, we need ordination. Ordination is not one thing. It is a family of multivariate analysis methods for exploratory data analysis that places similar objects near each other and dissimilar objects further away. And there are many ordination methods. The ones most common in geoscience are Principal Component Analysis, or PCA, Non-Metric Multidimensional Scaling, or NMDS, and Detrended Correspondence Analysis, or DCA new paper out talking about all of them and how geoscientists have been using them and misusing them over the last three decades. Now in the depositional record, the open access journal of the International Association of Sedimentologists. Since it's open access, you can just go over and read it for free right now. It explains in plain language and with no equations what ordination is, how does it work, how does PCA NMDS and DCA work and what do you need to do to use them properly and how they have been used and misused. Here are a few highlights. 1. Ordination methods are becoming significantly more popular over the last three decades, with the increase in number of publications using them increasing faster than the rising number of total publications. But with more people using these methods, there are also some issues. Analysis is more variable than is mathematically sound. Poor identification of the data type and use the wrong pretreatment or none at all, and just not reporting on how the analysis was done, making it impossible to replicate and validate the study. And if you are just watching this video and not reading the paper, the biggest take home message we can give you is don't, don't, automatically. don't automatically use PCA. NMDS and DCA are much better for many applications. Also, make your da data accessible, discoverable and organized in a way other people can understand. Repositories are great. We made all the data used in this publication available via Figshare. This also includes the code we use and full documentation on a sample analysis with it. So please go on and read the paper the link is in the description below.